Hey guys, I'm Galactic from Galactic's Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and use a free screen recording software for Windows. And don't worry, it's not Bandicam, I just need to record with it now because I need to show you the downloading process for the software we're getting. But we're actually going to record with the software even worse. Easy vid. Now, before you go all crazy, I'm going to show you in this video how to download EasyVid without malware, how to record without music in the background, and how to export it without uploading directly to YouTube. Also, I'm going to show you where to edit the videos you make instead of using the stupid video editing software that it gives you. Alright, so in order to download it, go on EasyVid.com, the link is in the description. Um, then click on that big orange button right there, and it should download it right now. Uh, just give it a second. Now, what, you, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, follow all the things that I do in um, the video. So save it right now. Um, save it to your desktop or download section. Uh, just follow everything that I do in order to uh, avoid getting all the malware that comes with this dumb download. So uh, just double click it right now and click run and... Uh, we'll go through the steps together. Okay, so first just uh, accept the terms and agreements. Uh, it doesn't really matter, just click next. Uh, then click next, just, just going over the uh, different uh, features. Uh, you want to pay attention though because there could be malware over here, so make sure you're reading everything. Uh, it might not just be features. So as you can see, um, once I click next, it'll the malware page comes up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, uncheck all those little uh, boxes and then click skip. Uh, if you didn't, it would have downloaded like a search bar or something. So um, we're just gonna skip ahead and uh, once it's downloaded. Anyway, so I think while it's downloading, this is a good time to just give a shout out to Destruction is Key. Um, his channel is pretty cool. It um, makes similar content to what I do. And, um, you know, his videos definitely make a lot more sense than mine, so you should definitely check out his videos. Uh, just leave a like on one of them, or, you know, subs even better, subscribe, because his videos are definitely a lot better than mine. Um, but, yeah, uh, so if you click anywhere on the screen, it'll take you to his channel. Uh, it'll open up a new link so you can continue watching the video, but just make sure you subscribe to him. He makes some pretty good content, and it's pretty helpful, so... Yeah, now we're going to get back to the main part of the tutorial. Sorry for the interruption, guys. Alright, so uh, it's pretty much downloaded. Uh, we're just going to open it up now. And at, as you can see, when it opens up... Let me just do it. Give me a sec. Alright, so uh, I downloaded it and opened it up. Uh, this window pops up. Just click the option on the bottom, Keep Current Color Scheme. You don't want EasyVid messing up your computer and making it go all rainbow shit on you, I don't even know. Uh, just don't just don't let it change your color scheme. This is a very interesting software to put it at the least. So just just make it just make sure that it doesn't affect your computer in any way or form. So uh, we're opening it up and it pretty much just goes over the controls, but we're just going to show you what to do uh, to start uh, recording and stuff. So let's get to that right now. Alright so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this screen recording button and it's going to come up with the basic settings now I'm I think I'm going to click on the use advanced settings that's what you should do I don't know I'm recording this at different times like my audio and then my video is getting recorded at different times anyway so I click on this and as you can see it won't allow me to turn on my audio so um, what you're gonna do is you're going to make a random screen recording and it doesn't have to be in anything particular, we're just going to delete it later, but it's going to allow us to edit the audio afterwards. So just make a random recording and we'll do that right now and we'll show you what to do. Alright, so I made a screen recording. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go back into the uh, advanced settings. And as you can see, it's going to al allow us to record audio right now. So um, I believe I go and make an advanced screen recording. So I think, yeah, I'm going to do that right now. So, you know, three, two, one, and yeah, I believe I'm recording, so that's good. Anyway, so I start recording, and I'll show you what it looks like right now. All right, so what we basically did by turning on the microphone is allowed it to record audio. So pretty much what we don't want is we don't want the music. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that 
it favors the voice on um, the volume mix or whatever it's called and then we're going to switch the song to uh, silent silent machine I believe that's what it is and it doesn't sound like there's any music in the background at all so let me play it okay yeah okay it is working so you know we're recording in stupid so that was my recording it didn't sound like there's any music in it at all but um, now we're going to export the video so what we're going to do is we're going to click upload to YouTube and we're going to click agree now we're not actually uploading directly to YouTube so don't worry um, what we're going to do is we're going to upload to um, well I'm going to upload to Galactic's tutorials but we're not going to make the video public so let me just type in my uh, email and everything real quick alright so I did that now we're going to click accept it's just giving your uh, it's just giving the program uh, access to your YouTube account uh, just do um, 720p and click start now I believe it's rendering the video so we're just going to allow for it to render and then we're going to um, go into uh, Google Chrome and then we're going to look in our videos and see if it's there alright so uh, I opened up Google Chrome and it's finished rendering so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click watch your video or uh, we could click we could click the X button but it doesn't really matter uh, let's just get off this I don't even know what I'm doing right over here yeah click watch video uh, now it's gonna take me to the easy vid video but as you can see it's not directly uploaded to YouTube and we don't want that because it uploaded public so what we're gonna do is we're gonna X out of that we're gonna go into our video manager I'm gonna refresh the page click edit okay I, I think I'm clicking edit uh, and then you're gonna go and change the setting from public to unlisted that's what I just did there so people won't see that you uploaded that video uh, then we're going to save the changes so as you can see I did that right over here uh, make sure you do that step really quick you don't want people seeing your unedited garbage or whatever um, that's pretty important uh, now that it's uh, done loading you're going to uh, I don't even know what I did right there. You're going to click this arrow button and you're going to click download as MP4. And what happens is you're going to probably save it to your desktop or download section, any place where you can find it very conveniently. Uh, you're going to X out of everything. You can X out of EasyVid too. It's not really important anymore. Uh, unless you want to save it, of course, but I really have no reason to save it. So I'm just going to close it. And um, as you can see, the video is pretty decent quality right over here. It's 720p, and just let me open it in QuickTime. Uh, if you don't have QuickTime, I suggest downloading it. It's free off the um, Apple website, and it works pretty good with Windows. Uh, don't download QuickTime Pro, but here it is. There's the video. It's pretty silent for the beginning. I'm not really quite sure if I do anything. Oh uh, wait. Okay, no, okay, it is working. So you know we're recording in the yeah. stupid. Okay, so yeah, you heard the audio it was pretty okay in the video. Um, it'll sound a lot better on your computer because I was uh, recording the recording on you know my Windows. Uh, it doesn't even matter. Just it'll just sound better on your computer. Just take my word for that. And um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you uh, do that. If you want to, you can import it into Windows Movie Maker to you know enhance the quality and actually edit the video or you can import it into Sony Vegas uh, 12 the trial I think I made a video on that before yeah I don't have it on my window I don't have a uh, Windows Movie Maker on this computer so that's why I didn't uh, import it but um, yeah EasyVid is a pretty good uh, screen recording software I just think that it tried to make itself too user friendly with the built-in music and all and the uh, built-in uh, video editing software but now we know how to get past all those inconveniences uh, with this video and you know if you like this video feel free to rate comment and subscribe uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time